This is Lola Lee T. I make a lot of videos about 90 Day Fiancé, so support me by purchasing a super thanks and also hit that like and subscribe button. So my bangs are an actual mess. I just got out of the shower and then picked my hair up and voila. Okay. Um, right now, okay, so this is Tatcha's water cream. I use the Silk Peony Eye Cream by Tatcha. Oh my God, my fucking bangs. Goodness, help. Okay, and um, I love the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. It is fire. I have a little cut on my lip right here. Don't ask how I got it, but. Yeah, I don't go live. I don't go live a lot anymore. But I might, um, I might start to a lot more. So. Okay. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> you guys don't start asking. Carly's taking a nap. Uh, don't start asking about like long and all that. Please, 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 just don't. Yeah, just don't do it. Hi, lovelies, and happy vibes from South Africa. Thank you. Hola desde Italia. Honestly, I'm just getting ready for the day. I have not gone live in a minute, so I was like, you know what? Let me just get on and do that. Okay. Um, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one thing we all want to know. Um, I'm very happy with the sleeve. I'm, I'm yeah. There's no complaints at all. But yeah. That was Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, yeah, I did hear about it. Horrible. Yeah, I talked about him a lot negatively and now I don't want to say anything that is that is correct. Um color beauty, no. Any new tattoos now? I've got my flowers, I've got my words on my back. Um my butterfly. I don't know if you guys see my butterfly. But um Yeah, the sleep was a really good decision. Oh, my nails are two weeks already. My nail guy is, if you're in Frederick, you need to see him. He's literally the best. I love him. His name is Vincent and he's an angel. I'm loving the bangs. They're a mess right now, but when I blow dry them, whatever, they look cute. I actually just cut them. How are you guys doing? She's doing good. She's so big. Hi, Shanae. Yes, I miss you. I hope to see you soon also. If I ever go back to South Africa, which I don't know. I don't know. You turn 29, I turn 31. I'm an old person now. <laughs> Just kidding. Girl, do your makeup with me. Hey, Fauna. I miss you. I need to, I need to hang out soon. Okay, so it's just like my color corrector, but I just end up putting it everywhere because. Oh, check it out. I got burned with a the curling iron. <laughs> what a mess. There we go. We just covered that bad boy up. Okay. 
my lips are like kind of dry actually I don't know my lips um, I don't know I wasn't feeling super great yesterday I wasn't feeling great yesterday so when I don't feel good I don't know my lips always get really red and uh, but whatever feeling better today now <clears throat> I'm gonna do foundation my bag is like yeah, you saw the burn. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, oh, my foundation. Okay. Yes. You <laughs> you can stay at my place anytime, Shanae. Um, some of my foundation here on my hand. This is new by YSL. It's literally, I've been using this forever now. It's like barely any coverage. Well, when you put it on, it looks like a lot of coverage, but it's actually just a skin tint. It's not an actual foundation, but it's, it's really nice. So it kind of just melts into your skin. And evens out your skin tone. Did I learn cosmetology at Paul Mitchell? No, but I did always want to go to Paul Mitchell. I thought it was so Everyone who ended up going to Paul Mitchell always like did really crazy cool color. Um, they always like knew how to do great color. So, I don't know, I was always like a little envious. If you're from Jersey, you know Capri Institute of Cosmetology and you know it was like, Ghetto. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, it was horrible. Um, what color foundation and concealer? So I used shade number four in YSL New. And it's my favorite. Um yeah, Paul Mitchell's the bomb. And anyone who goes to Paul Mitchell's like always successful. Like they just I don't know, it's a great school. Am I preparing for a date? I might be. I might be this fucking hair. Sorry, <laughs> this hair. But um, what brushes do I use? I use mine, and I use like some Morphe. Morphe is pretty inexpensive. Um, like like face foundation brushes. Um, I don't have a like. I don't really have one on my for my brand yet. So that's I guess next, I suppose. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you. I'm trying to be kind of quick. I really want to do my hair before it dries like this and it's annoying. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just burped. Have you guys been watching the new like 90 Day Fiance? I haven't seen it. I've seen like the cast members on Instagram, but I... I like saw the commercial for it and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. I was so jealous. They had the Backstreet Boys song. You are my fire. I was so mad. Why didn't we get that? I'm gonna expect like hit me baby one more time or something. Do I need more foundation in my forehead? No, I've got bangs. That I, I think I need to cut more, but no, I don't. See, I make my bangs cover like all of it. Everything's a little bit of a mess right now. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna put face powder. I'm using the Fit Me powder in the shade 130. And it's working pretty well. I feel like, even though it's really light, I feel like I gotta go lighter. Cause it like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. This ring light really like makes me look crazy though. Cause it's so bright. It's a uh, fake and a waste of energy to watch. Then why are you watching, <laughs> buddy? Sounds like uh, confusing. You know, if I don't like to watch something, I just 
don't you know what I mean no shade but it doesn't really make sense um gonna bake my under eyes and look like a crazy person but it's okay ciao d'italia where's my cute backdrop i'm not in my living room right now i'm in my room i'm in my room the one from new mexico there's one from new mexico it's like she married a prince. Okay, you guys need to give me the tea on this new season. Tell me about the couples, the names, where they're from, what they're about, cause I have not caught up. I haven't gotten lip blushing done. My lips are just, sorry, a little dry. So, red. Plus that kiss you lip mask makes my lips really like pink. It's kinda nice. Why are you rolling your eyes at me, huh? <laughs> Why are you rolling your eyes at me? Oh, they're doing good. Daniel's picked up like, um, mm, I don't know, bike tricks, I guess you would call it, but like going to like a skate park and riding his bike there, he loves it. He's going like with my, uh, with my brother-in-law almost like every single day, so that's... <laughs> Uh, under my eyes, I'm using Huda Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Yes, I'm caking it on. And then this is one of my favorite palettes. I recently got it. It's the Hourglass um, Ambient Palette. So I love this. Um, so I get this brush and I actually like just dip into kind of both of these blushes and it's like a little crazy at first because it's bright as hell, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna just put it everywhere. And towards the end, it'll look like I have no blush, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. This season's a little boring, how come? Favorite couples, who's the favorite couple that you guys think this season? Like the really, the couple that everyone's rooting for, the couple that's like everyone's favorite, no fake drama, whatever, whatever. I love Hourglass. They're always so like illuminating, but like so soft. What couple do you guys think is getting the most hate? I know that the fans, the kind of always pick somebody who's like, we don't like her. <laughs> so who is that this season? Do we have any? Ooh. Okay, it's fine. At the end, I will show everything I used, yeah. So I'm gonna go in with this guy. This is a limited edition bronzer con contour from MAC. I always buy like 10 at a time because I've been using this for years. It's called Delicates. Wow, it's like busted. Delicates by MAC. They always have it in like limited edition collections. So if you see a collection that's limited edition, always look for Delicates. It's the bomb. And it's not like, it's not reddish, it's not orangey. So, it's just my favorite. I've been using it for so long. What is that? Come here. Evie and the young guy. Oh, I saw pictures of her, I think. There's a young guy. Yeah, I think uh, like a, a blonde lady, right? Like a pretty blonde lady. The kids are good. They're doing really well. Carly's growing way too quick. She thinks she's a teenager, I think, already, which is insane. Double chin. <laughs> Thank you. Hate is a strong word, but I do find them. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these couples, so I can't really say anything, but I'm gonna have to like YouTube it a little bit and like just check it out. Saludos de Guatemala, what's up? Um, 
I got it done June 15th, I think. So almost a year. Um, and it's been You see this guy? Um, it's been almost a year, but it's been a, an amazing year. Uh, like a year to learn. Definitely learned a lot about myself this year. It's been good. Missing loads of night because it's only on Discovery Plus. It's only on Discovery Plus? How come? What happened to it on TV? No, I can't eat normal now. Um, even if I try, I can't. <laughs> you saw him? <laughs> Are you divorced yet? I need papers. Can you believe this? Brian, what the hell? Emily tries to wear the pants. What's Emily like? Where is she from? And kind of sounds like me, DBH. No. <laughs> Do I miss normal eating? Honestly, one thing that's like hard to get used to, and I don't know if it's everyone or just me, but um, like your brain, I think, is still like normal hungry, but your stomach can't handle normal hungry. So like you'll be hungry, like. I'm dying, starving, whatever, I want to eat something. And then I'll go and I'm like ready to eat the little tiny portion that I have served myself. And I take two bites and I'm like... <sighs> and you get so annoyed because you were like excited to eat this meal and you just can't. It just, it is what it is. It's, it's a struggle, but it's like, you can't, you can't complain, you know? You were complaining when you were able to eat too much and overeat and make all these mistakes and make yourself miserable. And then now you can't, so you can't be mad. You just gotta deal with it. And it's not like, it's not like, it's, oh my gosh, I'm dying. I can't eat, I'm starving. No, you're starving, then you eat two bites and you're no longer starving. You're so full and you're just like, I can't breathe. Um, I don't have the emotional eating thing anymore. That was something that like, one of the first things I realized that like, I by force had to change was the emotional eating thing. You can't, you can't turn to like food as like a, a coping mechanism anymore, which honestly was like a, such a, like a mind F because you only realize afterwards how much, um, how much you rely on it for certain things, right? But yeah, what is my sound? Um, yeah, vitamins are super, super important. In the beginning, I was like really not good at taking my vitamins. I've gotten better. I definitely recommend like, don't mess around. Do not mess around after the surgery with your health. Just do what you gotta do. Yeah, one thing that you have to get used to after the surgery is like, you really need to like, not eat fast. Like when you're hungry, you kind of just want to chew, 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 eat. You can't, you need to like, really eat slowly or you're gonna hurt yourself. For me, I mean, I can only speak for myself and from the advice that I was given that turned out to be true, um, you really need to pace yourself. Oh my gosh, my body is rejecting water. Yeah, I had, you know what? I had to push myself, but um, I had to drink coconut water and Propel for a long time. I drank so much Propel that it started making me nauseous. But yeah, my, when I drank water, still, when I drink water, I get nauseous. It's the weirdest thing. I thought it was just me, that's weird. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Um, I wanna go live on TikTok. 
Oh my gosh. Hello from South Africa. When are you coming? I don't know. I don't know. That's a really tough question. <sighs> you drink hot water a lot. It really helps. Really? Oh, hint. I think I said hot water. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. But um, yeah, goodness, you know. Drinking water is still, till the, like a year later, a struggle for me. Just because I get so, so, so nauseous. And it's so essential to drink water. So like being nauseous because of it is like probably the hardest thing. But even with that, like I won't complain about a thing. No, I think I've got like about 25 to 30 more pounds to go and I'll be good. And I'll feel like, okay, that well, that was my goal to begin with. <laughs> You'll feel shocked that you felt a bone. <laughs> That's funny. I only drank room temperature water before my surgery, but now I definitely only drink room temperature water just because the cold water like hurts actually hurts my stomach. And I don't think that it's like that for everyone. I think it's it might just be a very people like more sensitive or something, I don't know. But yeah. Okay, so that eyebrow I guess is done. I'm not really gonna go in hard, but um when am I coming to South Africa? I've asked gotten asked this question so many times. Um I don't know I'm not sure. I don't know when I can come to. Sorry. I don't know when I can. But. Yeah, it's just something that is just not, not realistic for me at the moment. I just can't. You hate water too. I don't hate it. I love it and I'm thirsty, but I can't drink it. Um, if I drink it, I get nauseous. So I have to like really either push myself, push through the nausea or drink like coconut water. But coconut water has a lot of uh, carbs. It is. Uh, yeah, that's something I feel that now it's the weirdest thing. And I actually hate it, but it's like, I guess a good thing. I don't know. I If I lay on my side, my hip bones like hurt on the bed. It's the worst. But also it's like a great problem to have after being like so unhappy with my weight. It's like, wow, things are changing. I am careful with alcohol. Um, I really just generally don't drink a lot of alcohol. I drink once in a while. And even if I wanna drink a lot, I just really just can't. It burns my stomach. I can't take shots, that's for sure. I won't take shots. It burns like crazy. And my stomach is a lot more sensitive now, obviously. But there's just things I won't do. Not be just because it's like, it hurts. Like you wanna know? Like me eating actual like meat is such a struggle for me. Like I have one or two bites and like ugh, I just want to like I feel like crying. Um, chicken even, but gotta get your protein in. And I don't know. There's just like a lot of things that give you the ick after the surgery. You get like tired of a lot of things. Um, my sense of smell even changed. <laughs> my robe is from Amazon. I feel like it helped with like my mental even like it was a big big life changer
<laughs> um, I can take little tiny sips of carbonated drinks, but not like a lot. Nothing too crazy. Because if I do, it hurts. It really hurts, you yeah. Um, also I can't eat bread. Like I can I can eat bread if I really like really want to, but I don't ever want to just because like if I eat a little bit of bread, it's like five minutes later it's it's painful actually. Like quite painful. My surgery is June fifteenth of last well of this what the hell? Last year. Yeah, last year. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.